ஜனநாயக கூட்டணியின் பிரதம வேட்பாளர் திரு நரேந்திர மோடி அவர்கள் தமிழக தேர்தல் சுற்றுப்பயணத்தின் தொடர்ச்சியாக கோவை வந்திருந்தார் கோவை வந்திருந்த அவர் வேந்தர் டிவிக்கு அளித்த பிரத்யேக பேட்டி இதோ வணக்கம் நமஸ்தேஜி வணக்கம் 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 பிஃபோர் கோயிங் டு கொஸ்டின் லைக் டு தேங்க் யூ சார் ஃபர்ஸ்ட் பிப்ரவரி நைன்த் யூ கேம் ஃபார் எஸ் ஆர் எம் கான்வர்கேஷன் ஆன் த டே யூ ஆர் த ஃபர்ஸ்ட் பர்சன் who has given us mouthful of wishes to our Venda TV. With your blessings and wishes, we have launched our news department on March 26th. With your blessings, is everything goes smoothly. First, I would like to thank from our heart to you. My best wishes are with you. And I'm sure that the neutral media is the strength of the nation. And the multiple activity can be a good source of information and the education for the common man. and i'm sure that you will achieve that thank you thank you sir my question first to send to you sir the entire youth in india are having an enormous faith on you because they are frustrated with corruptive politics for so many years since they are having enormous confidence on you what is the message you are conveying to the entire youth particularly the first time voters i'm very very thankful to the young generation of this country we know that nowadays young generation used to analyze each and everything they never follow the advice of others they think themselves so whatever today the atmosphere is it is out of their conviction and it's a good sim- symptoms for the future of the nation i would like to request all my young friends and particularly the first timer voters and the age group of 18 to 28 because this is the golden period for the young generation if they lose this period they will do lose whole of their life that career in this golden period whatever they will take the decision it will have impact for whole life in this situation the strong government can be a good support for them personal life also so it is the duty of the young generation uh, from 18 to 28 age group they must take initiative they must be a, not simply a voter they must be a canvasser they must be a campaigner and they must advocate a very very strong government very very dynamic government and very very proactive government in delhi it will be good for the future of this young generation okay by the same day next month results would have been declared hopefully you would have become prime minister of this proud nation thank you for your good wishes thanks a lot my question to you sir as far as atal ji's tenure is concerned this uh, golden quadrangle was a very big success as far as common man is concerned in that scenario what would be a flagship program we like to have you see like uh, golden quadrangle yeah, the, the another thing is the pradhan mantri gram sadak yojana that was a very very good initiative by atal ji this time we are thinking that pradhan mantri krushi sinchai yojana okay the irrigation network all over india each and every farmer must get a water this is my ambitious project okay the second project is in 2022 india independence will celebrate 75th anniversary platinum jubilee celebration. platinum jubilee in this platinum jubilee we must take a decision that each and every family of our india we have a pakka house with tap water electricity and educational facility yes sir so there is a speculation roaming around in tamil nadu once bjp government forms you know central this 100 days job work will be abolished how far it is true this all negative things are coming from the congress side yes sir. it is out of frustration this government each for the people uh, poor people the 
treasury of this government will be for the poor people and it is the duty of the government to take care of the poor people okay okay, okay. sir my one important question to you sir you are been doing a yeoman service in gujarat for the past 12 years you are doing an excellent job but the opposition parties whenever you are talking about growth development everything they are always pinpointing 2002 see what goes into your mind in spite of doing so much of yeoman service why people are talking about 2002 alone sentimentally don't you feel come on why, what's happening here your question is right but address is wrong <laughs> so you should address this question to the people those who are uh, still living in the 2002 as far as perambalur is concerned our dr parivender is contesting he is an educationalist what is your suggestion on education, people like uh, education like Pari when they are coming to politics? First, I am impressed with him Thanks. because he is a self-made person. Yes. He is dedicated to his cause. He is committed to his cause. And he is a brave person. He do not afraid of any government. Yes. This is a good thing. So I appreciate and I wish the people must support him. The person like him, those who are self-made and those who are particularly dedicated to the education, they are the asset to the society and we must support him. So this is a message you are conveying to the Paramulu voters? Yes, of course, the people of the Paramulu. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thanks Thank for you. the interview. Thanks, sir. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Thank you.